Whether it's designer or a bargain, we love our labels. But what about our food? Do you look at the label? We took to the streets of Glasgow to find out. Use by, you've got to obviously use the product by that date. You must have consumed it by then, my understanding is. I think um, sometimes other people would take risks, but I know that I wouldn't. Best before date would be when we'd eat it. I don't tend to look at the labels too much, to be honest with you. I, I'd like to think I know what I'm looking for, but possibly not. We're recommending that it's a good idea for people to look at the label. Just take some time when you're in the supermarket and you pick up a food, look at the date label that's on there and understand the difference between the different types of date label. The use by date is very important when it comes to food safety and that's the date really that you should be looking out for. Now you'll find a use by date on very perishable foods that tend to be stored chilled in the fridge. Now the use by date is set by the food producer and it's scientifically based and they set it based on a period of time that a food can be kept chilled uh, before bacteria that can result in food poisoning can grow to the levels that might make you sick. So it's very important that you make sure that you use food within that date. The well, best before date is very different to a use by date. Rather than being about safe date, the best before date is about the quality of the food. So it means exactly what it says. It means that the food will be at its best within that date. So it's okay to use your judgment with a best before date. In summary, I think there's a lot of confusion between different types of date label on, on foods, which is, is understandable. And I think by taking the time to look at these labels and understanding what each of these dates actually means in practice, you can help to keep your food safe, but also minimise the amount of food that you're wasting.